Welcome to Red Breeze Random Creativity. Today I'd like to share with you how I made this piece which I call Flower Meadow. Sadly, as you can see, it's broken. I had it out yesterday to take some photographs ready for the video and I didn't put it away and this morning my dog knocked it off and it broke. So I've now got to have a think to decide whether I'm going to repair it or whether I'm going to use it in some other way in a new piece. But when I do, I'll take a video and I'll share it with you guys so you know what happens to this piece. The more I work with resin, the, there are two key things that I'm realising that I have to be aware of. The first is to work on a level surface. I have now fixed that problem. I thought I'd fixed it for this piece, but it was still slightly off. And as you'll see in the video, that I lay down the flowers and the colours and then I leave it and when I come back to it I've lost all definition because they just slowly faded into the rest of the resin and then I had to add these flowers on top because of it. And also I wasn't patient, that's the second point, you've got to be patient. So when I laid down the clear resin and the green initially I should have waited for that to get a bit thicker before I started adding the colours of the flowers. They sank, which I quite liked because it did give perspective, but again, it lost definition. And the second time I needed to be patient was when I was bending it. I didn't wait long enough. And as you can see, this resulted in some drips in the pieces, in, in the flowers that I added. So patience and a level surface are my two key points for you today. Learn from my mistake. So I hope you enjoy the video. Do leave me some comments and subscribe if you want to see more of my pieces. Thanks for watching. I start by pouring a clear layer of resin over my tray and then a, a line of green that's going to represent the grass in the picture. Just drawing that up just to give the illusion of a meadow long grass. Shaping it as I feel it needs. And once I get it to how I think I'm happy with it, I begin to start putting on colour. And this is to represent flowers in the meadow. And I start off really cautiously because I'm really worried I'm going to drop some drips in places I don't want. But as you'll see, I gradually get more and more bold and realise that actually the more random the drips, the better it looks. So I'm just layering up the colours. And what I'm liking is as I lay each colour in, they're sinking and so it's giving some kind of perspective to the picture, to the flower meadow that I'm trying to create. There we go, you can see I'm getting a bit more random now and it's actually looking better because the, the circles are different shapes, different sizes. Just keep layering that up with all the different colours that I've prepared. I've been having a trouble with my table in that it tilts, it's not level, and I thought I'd levelled this piece. But as we go on, you'll see that it does gently just drift towards the bottom. Just adding a bit more green at the bottom there. I felt there was too many flowers at the bottom. Keeping going with my colours. And now I'm creating large flowers. Just placing those on where I want them to be. And at this point I'm really liking this piece. I'm liking how it's going. I'm really liking the red and thinking that they're beginning to look like poppies. And that's a dark purple centre to the flowers. Just touching up adding a few more flowers where I feel it needs it and at this point I love it but as I leave it to dry the flowers disappear the definition goes so you'll see in a moment what I've had to do is I've come back later and added those flowers again on top of the piece so at this point I'm really disappointed but I'm going to shape it anyway so that it's a freestanding picture piece of art and then here's the finished piece and then you can see that I did it too soon I shaped it it's dribbled a bit um, but I do like the piece in the end I've grown to like it thanks for watching